Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's the Pre Avengers here, guys, and welcome back to another Marvel Future Fight video. And we got a quick short video here for you guys. Like I've said in the previous videos, not much content for this update, but I thought that I'd give you this video showing you how you can unlock Professor X. There are two different ways and suggesting which is the best option. So first of all, guys, if you did not know, he is not a premium character, so to speak. So you can't get him from the daily bios um, and you can't get him from a uh, premium tier two selector, I don't believe. You might be able to, uh, I'd have to fact check that, but I know for sure you can't get him from the daily bios. Um, there are only two possible ways at the moment to get Professor X, and usually there's only one. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to make this quick video just to explain that, so let's get straight on into it. So first of all, I do not have him. Um, I will be choosing one of these ways to unlock him, so that by the time um, in a couple months pass, I will be able to get him level 80. Um, so it really depends on which path you take on how long you're willing to wait, um, but I'll get into that right now. So, as you can see here, it says, can be acquired as a contribution reward in Dimension Mission. So if you head on over to Dimension Mission, you're probably wondering how this works. Basically, when you clear, right, um, you get yourself uh, the contribution rewards on the right here. Um, so if you're all the way on 15 and you clear 10 times, you get a total of 120. So you get two of the contribution rewards. And normally the first one is gold and then the tokens and so forth, right? Well, the very last one before it just starts repeating support tokens is a contribution chest. And the way it works is when you open it, you get a random uh, bios, either 40, 10, or 5 of one of these characters. And that is the only way you can get Professor X for free basically so you can get him um he only costs five bios so you'd have to land him one time i personally in a whole year that i've made sure that like i do get all the way to the chest i haven't been able to get him um but i did happen to get a couple of these other characters like um teenage warrior um and i believe i got abomination i have to double check that but i know i got teenage warrior from this so it is possible I don't know the odds, uh, but I do know it is pretty low for the five uh, biometric ones. So keep that in mind. And it's not like you're guaranteed in a year to get it. It could it could take a year. It could take less. It's really all up to RNG, guys, um, as most of this game is. Um, and yeah, I think we do we do have apocalypse or not apocalypse. Sorry, abomination unlocked. Um, so we did get him from that chest as well. So yeah, it, it's possible, guys. Um, that is how you can unlock him. But then you're probably wondering, okay, now that I have him at one star, what do I do from there? How am I going to get him to level 80 or tier 4, whichever one you're trying to do? So from there, what you're going to need to do um, is have a 6-star Mega Rank Up ticket, which you should have some of these sitting around. We get them pretty frequently, um, especially if you play the game constantly. Um, and you can go ahead and use that on Professor X. Then what you can do is wait, or unless you already have one, for a tier 2 mega rank up ticket. I don't have one in my inventory, so I can't show you, but it is this ticket, but the upgraded version. So it has like the silver bar on the bottom like this one does, but with the tier 2 ticket. So with that, you can then go ahead and get Professor X to tier 2, play him in World Boss Legend, unlock his potential, get him to tier 3, then level 80 or tier 4, whichever one you want. Um, but yeah, that's the basic route it, the freest route. And it is the most time consuming route, but it is also probably the easiest route, um, because of the no cost. Basically, you just basically have to play the game and you can get him upgraded. Now, if you don't have a tier two mega rank up ticket, we should be getting some, and I'm, I'm going to emphasize on the should be getting some for the anniversary event coming out in April. So that is what I'm going to do. That is my plan. I hope that in the next two months I can get him from the chest here. Um, I'll be making sure every day to get down to this chest and hope, uh, cross my fingers that I get it. And then I'll use the rank up ticket on him, the six star rank up ticket. And then I'll go ahead and use the tier two mega rank up ticket. And I just remembered where I can actually show you. Um, don't buy it from here, but I can show you from here. The tier two mega rank up ticket, as you can see right there, um, is the ticket that you're going to need. Um, and you have to have the character at six star. So that is why the six star rank up ticket is so important. So yeah, you're going to get him from dimension mission contribution chest, use the six star mega rank up, six star mega rank up ticket, tier two mega rank up ticket, and then you can get him, uh, from there to tier three. So that is, like I said, the most long-term, but also the cheapest uh, available option. Now, there's one more way, which 
I don't recommend, but if you really want him, if he's one of your favorite characters, if you just can't wait two months, um, then this is the only other way you can unlock him. He is available for two weeks on sale um, in the shop. Uh, not really on sale, but he's available um, in the shop for 4,500 crystals. You get him at tier two and you get him uh, for 5 million gold. Now, look, you like I said, you can do this if, if you want, but um, it, it, it's just a lot of money, you know? Like, it's almost as much as Adam Warlock, and even so, 4,500 crystals is also, just to, in comparison, is almost the exact same amount as if I wanted to go buy the Gilgamesh uh, epic quest, which not only um, gets you the character for free and upgrades them, it also gives you crystals in return to go buy the uniform. It doesn't give you the exact amount that you need to go buy a new uniform, but it gets you close to that. With this deal, you're only getting him at tier 2 and 5 million gold. So you need 4,500 crystals to get into tier 2. Then you still need an additional 1,050 crystals to get his uniform. So yeah, keep that in mind. Like I said, if you want to do this, by all means, go ahead. But I'm definitely going to stick to my route here. I'm going to get this dimension uh, biometrics from him, hopefully, and get him upgraded uh, come the anniversary event. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I just want to let you guys know on the different roads to getting Professor X and uh, what is the best option and what are the options because it's not that much, guys. Uh, so I hope this helped because uh, I know a lot of people didn't know about this um, until now because many people haven't touched him in years, um, including myself. I, I've never even thought of uh, unlocking him till now, um, which I'm pretty sure is the same case for the rest of you guys as well. So yeah, I hope this helped. Like I said, uh, if you did enjoy this video and if you did find it helpful, please helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe even though I can't talk today. Um, we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.